Hi everybody, it is November 18, 2018. I still can't get my capture program working, so I downloaded a free one. I hope this works out, but it's not about how glossy the videos are that are posted on YouTube and how professional they look. It's about the information, and that is what I post. I want to um, pass along two videos that were passed along to me by subscribers who I want to thank for passing along the information. The fire, especially the one in paradise. Well, what do we say with all of these events that get far more dramatic? We say if this doesn't wake people up, nothing will. Then we come across another event that's even more dramatic and more obvious that something is very wrong. We say, if this doesn't wake people up, nothing will. I really hope that people who are close-minded and calling people conspiracy theorists that you stop, that you stop doing that and open your mind and listen to what people have to say. Something is very wrong here and I really want everybody to listen to, then circulate, Eyewitness Barely Makes It Out Alive in California Firestorm. O uh, Robert Ote is interviewed by Douglas Gabriel on American Intelligence Media and he talks of his first-hand account of what it was like on the ground as this fire broke out. Very important information Robert is sharing. He has lost everything, his ranch gone, and yes, he needs help here Underneath American Intelligence Media's video, you will find his PayPal account, which is uh, Robert at Fiendif, <laughs> F E A N D F T dot com. Please. You know, if everybody just contributed even just one dollar or five dollars. So many people could be helped. People are losing everything. They are losing everything. And those, everybody deserves help. But those who know and who have been awake, when they suffer the consequences, personally, we need to support them because they, having suffered the consequences personally, what I hear from Robert, what I've heard from others who have uh, been awake, they know what's going on. There's a fight in them. It's a bigger fight that it's when you experience it personally, you get angry and Fortunately, there's a lot of people who are directing their anger in a constructive manner. These are the people that you really want to support. These are the people who you want to help out any way that you can. These are the people who you want to lift up. If we can't help one another in this community, if we don't try to help one another in this community, more and more of you who are still comfortable, this is coming to you. Now the Paradise Fire was even more dramatic than the Santa Rosa Fire. That is not to diminish what people in Santa Rosa have experienced anybody who has their home completely decimated by, yeah, directed energy weapons. 
The evidence is out there. It's been out there for years. We're just accumulating more and more evidence. And now we really need to start taking action however we can, circulating the information, taking what is happening so seriously because life itself is dying, we are at war, people are dying in horrific ways. Just put, try to put yourself in their shoes. You have lost everything. You have had your pets burn up or drown in a flood. You're missing loved ones, information that I'm going to get to in a second, but try to put yourself in their shoes. You are shocked. You're shell-shocked. You have nothing. And yes, this is when you get to see how many people care and how many don't. What Robert has to say in this is very important. Why do I go on and on talking about how important it is for everybody to take action, for everybody to do whatever it is that they can to get the word out to help others who are suffering these consequences? I go on and on about this because so few do help and I so want to get it across to people that this is, you know, I see comments from people, this is getting real. It has been real for decades. It has only gotten more and more real. And as, as these events continue, they get closer and closer and closer to you. So, I will be donating. Robert, I... I have nothing. I've lost everything. I, um, but I do understand that even if you give five dollars, even if you give ten dollars, even if you give what you can, if everybody just did that, everybody could be helped. I understand the importance of it, and I will tell you now, if I can do it, I'm sorry. Everybody can do it because there is no, no reason why you guys out there can't contribute one dollar. I'm tired of hearing all of this. What is really nonsense? You buy a cup of coffee outside to bring to work. So you, you throw a cup of coffee in a thermos one day and you contribute to those who are really hurting, please, please start thinking about what you are doing and how you are behaving. And yeah, we really do need to help. Um, and Robert left this comment, my eyewitness account of the do attacks can be heard. I lost my ranch and everything I own. All he got out, all he had time to get out was his three dogs. That's it. 
Okay, this is also a very important video. Campfire, hashtag campfire, Walmart parking lot, Chico, California, subscribe to storage auction pirate because this person is putting out on the ground videos of what is taking place with the survivors and important information regarding how to donate But I hope that this video inspires you because in the very beginning she talks about this group that has come in from I guess the Bay Area and they are bringing gift cards and like $3,000 worth of gift cards to the survivors are these gift cards for? Chevron, Walmart, Target, Visa, MasterCard, American Express. And why? We, we are literally here to help the victims. Where are you guys? Okay, I'm sorry that the video is very low. Let me see if that's better. It's from, you guys live here in Chico? No, we're from Rockland, California. And they're from San Francisco. Francisco. They go all the way oh my gosh! Um, Martinez, Antioch, East Bay. Um, so, do you guys know each other? They're friends. Friends. He just moved from San Francisco up to Newcastle, and he told them about it. And they said, "Well, we want to volunteer and help." And we had a whole other group of about another 20 people earlier today that helped us load a, a 30 foot, yeah, moving truck that we've already delivered at the animal shelter with all brand new food and beds. And then with the, the one at the airport or which one? No, the one yeah, by the on Long 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 Long
the, <laughs> the ones that are left that are the survivors, they're, yeah. I want to reiterate what I said in another video. There are so many elderly people. The temperature, I checked the t temperature in Chico last night at about, I don't know what time it was, maybe midnight, 1230. It was 44 degrees. These elderly people have lost their homes. And when you are elderly, this is everything gets much harder. We know this. So, they're talking about cots, air beds. They're in need. And I can, I'm, I'm in South Carolina. If I were in this community, I would absolutely be out there. So everybody in the surrounding communities where these events take place, you all need to really chip in and give what you have um, and help and open your homes, especially for the elderly. If you can open your home for an elderly couple or elderly woman or man, to get them out of their tents, to get them in a position where they're a little bit comfortable, that would be an extraordinary act of grace on your part. So I just want to show you this. Trump fire zone. If you think Trump, if you think Jerry Brown, if you think Newsom, if you think government is going to be helping these people, you are dead wrong. If you think the Red Cross and FEMA, they're on the scene and they're helping these people, you are dead wrong. We know what our government is doing. They don't help. They don't help. And one of the things that is mentioned in this video is, has anybody seen any officials around and you hear no? They do give a little bit of help, but it's not enough help for all of the survivors and it's not enough help to get people back on their feet. Google Red Cross has already taken in millions on this fire alone, why don't we have Google employees out there and Red Cross employees out there helping these people, giving out the gift cards that you have just Americans who want to help out doing. Where is that money going? They collect huge amounts of money and it doesn't get to the people. So we've got to start thinking outside the box, how can we help each other? Otherwise, if we don't, we then become complicit with allowing our fellow Americans to go down. The um, Sacramento Bee campfire refugees create new town of Wallywood as officials struggle with housing crisis. So many more made homeless. Get this. It's not just the officials. It is not just these uh, crazy psychopathic elitist nut jobs who are creating for us a huge nightmare it's also just the greed and selfishness of ordinary people we have to somehow stop that but there is no reason for all of these people 
to suffer. Hell, if Trump just stopped bombing countries, hell, why don't you just stop bombing countries for about a week or two weeks and use the money for the bombing? Use it for Americans who are in desperate need of help. American taxpayer money hardly ever goes to Americans. Rainstorms are coming. What are these people going to do in these tents? So many animals burned to death or survived with horrible injuries. Here we have Al-Qaeda again. It's only PJ Media that is posting these videos or uh, articles. It's not ISIS. And ISIS is us. ISIS is us. And anybody who wants to leave a comment saying I'm a nut job, don't bother because it will be deleted. You just simply reveal yourself as a crazy, willfully ignorant, useful idiot. You having never done the research to find out what the hell is happening. ISIS created by U.S. Uh, the United States, Israel, supported, funded by Britain, by Israel, by the United States, by Saudi Arabia, trained by our CIA. Get it, America. Things are not the same anymore. You know how many people are missing now? It's approximately 1,300. And this was two days ago. How many are suffering the loss of loved ones and not knowing where they are? These are the names. And these are the faces. People looking for their parents, their dogs, their grandparents, relatives who are disabled. This is this is not 83 with dementia well grandchildren looking for their grandparents Ninety-six years old. My family is trying to locate my 96-year-old uncle, Joseph Klein. <sighs> my God. Those of you who don't like my tone, don't like what I say, would prefer to listen to someone posting videos with a neutral tone unsub because I can't do it because I can't do it and the names and photos of those who tragically died horrific deaths 
and this is not a comprehensive list. Okay, so clearly we are living a different time here in the United States, right? Which means that each and every one of us has to begin to think differently and act differently. Think outside the box. Come outside of your comfort zone. And be a soldier, okay? We are at war. Yeah, it, it's a war that is one-sided. Because unfortunately, the weapons that they have... You, you have to listen to Robert's interview. You've got to listen to Robert's interview. Because he talks about directed energy weapons being used, what they were exactly. We don't know the exact answers. We don't. And no doubt they are using a, a variety of weapons. He talks about the spraying of chemtrails in California, making these fires far more incendiary. Other people have been talking about the chemtrails just before the fires, that they were so saturated, getting hit hard days before the fires, and boom, the fires. He talks about houses just going up instantly, and the cars, look at the cars, no fire around those cars that were just so utterly gutted, destroyed. The, the flame so hot, melting the metal. Those are directed energy weapons that they can use anywhere and they have been. I also get comments from people, it's China, China owns California. Oh. And then people say, if this can happen in California, it can happen anywhere. It's been happening. It has been happening. And these fires that are taking place in California, well, California, you're getting hit hard. But these fires were also in Tennessee and in um, Fort McMurray in Canada and other areas in Canada and in Portugal and in Greece and in other countries. So no, it's not because China owns California. A lot of people, I guess, just want one answer or one cause that they can point to. There are multiple causes. Multiple reasons. And unless we are in the know with these nut jobs doing this, and nut jobs, oh well, that's an understatement to say the least. But because we're not in the know, we will never get the precise reasons, the exact causes, but we have enough evidence to know something is terribly wrong. And no, these are not natural fires. And we know enough about directed energy weapons to know that their use is, that they are being used. And what we know is really just a fraction of what of the weapons that they have. If we can't get this stopped, which we can't, because even in this community, everybody is just, <laughs> no one's on the same page. People fighting over things that are so insignificant that it's beyond belief. 
if we can't get it stopped? Because there's no trust and you need trust. That is the foundation for anything, for any organization, for anything. We cannot build anything strong if we don't have that foundation. Well, we don't have that foundation. And it pisses me off because there's an awful lot of people here in this community who consider themselves awake and they create an awful lot of division and distrust. So if we can't get it stopped, then we need to marshal our energy to help, to help the survivors. All links are below. Please circulate this video of Robert being interviewed, <coughs> excuse me, and this video, which I really hope inspires everybody to do what they can to help others. Thank you for listening.